welcome back. It's Vanessa here at Hilltop Acres Homestead. And today we are going to be working in the garden more. So I have this one whole section here planted except for the tomatoes and the peppers. And we just have to roll out the rest of the landscaping fabric for the rest of the garden. And I'm gonna be measuring out how many tomatoes we need for the space. I have some started that we had started in the house already, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. So we may have to go to the local greenhouse and get some more tomatoes and peppers, but we'll see how many we need. I think I counted out for the space down there. We can fit 150 pepper plants or tomato plants. So I have about 50, so we may need a little more. <laughs> So that's what we are going to be working on today. And also we are going to be cleaning out the barn and we're gonna be putting our compost over in the chicken pasture for the chickens to till up. So we have some kale coming up here, turnips in the middle, and then right here we have spinach. Let's see what we got in this, if anything's coming up. This is all lettuces in this bed. And then we have our cauliflower. You got some broccoli sprouting up. There's a broccoli. And over on this side, we have our carriage. So I have this whole area planted. I planted on the last row over there, I planted green beans. And then these three rows, peas. And then we have cucumbers in the next two rows. And then this whole row all the way down to the end is gonna be peppers. And then we have two rows already made that I'm gonna be putting tomatoes in. And I think we're gonna fit an extra row in on the end there. So I just, in this spot, all I need to do is finish the tomatoes and the peppers. All right guys, so we ran to the greenhouse and we got some more tomatoes. All right, so we got some Better Boys and we got some more Romas. I also got a little hot pepper and I think we got, yep, yeah, we got a bell pepper too. All right, so right now we are going to work on the landscape fabric. We're gonna lay the rest of it down and then we are going to burn the holes in it. mail it to hammer in the staples it doesn't bend the staples at all so this works out really well So right now Fred is just burning the edge of the landscaping fabric just so it doesn't have the frays on the end and it doesn't come apart. are going down to the other end. All right, now we gotta staple it all down. 
it doesn't blow away. All right guys, so we noticed that this edge right here has a lot of grass on it. So we're gonna move it over a foot, just so we're not, we're not wasting a foot of the landscaping fabric where we can't plant anything. All right guys, so I took this staple out and what I'm gonna do is move this over a foot and then I'm gonna staple this. And I'm just gonna work my way over so the wind's not blowing in all over the place. So guys, I watched someone else on YouTube use the Inferno setup to melt the holes. And when I tried to do it, my board, or my jig I should say, wasn't wide enough and I burnt a big old hole which I have to patch. Would not recommend doing it with a 1x6 if you're going to do it. I'd recommend like a 1x16 or bigger. Alright guys, so we got some watermelon rinds I'm going to be giving here to the chickens. They like it. Hey guys, so it's another day. We had to stop working that day because it started raining and it's been raining for the past few days. So today is a nice sunny day and we are going to finish getting the holes into the landscaping fabric and we are going to start planting the tomatoes and the peppers. First, I have to fix this landscaping fabric that I've fixed about three times and the wind keeps blowing it. So I gotta fix that again first. I'm gonna put some heavy rocks down on it to keep it from blowing up again because the soil where the stakes are in is very, very loose. So the stakes aren't really holding in it very well. So I'm gonna be fixing that first. for the tomato and the pepper plants. 
I got this at Lowe's. I'll link it in the description box below. So what it is is a little plant bulb auger and you just make the little holes into the ground for the tomatoes and just plant them right in there. So I'm gonna try this out. Let's see how it works. What do you wanna do? Right, so I have all the peppers started and all the tomatoes started. So now I'm just going to be watering them. All right, so I'm going to be using this miracle Grow garden feeder. So what you do is just fill this bottom part up here with the miracle Grow, And then you hook this end up to your hose and you just spray your garden and it waters your plants with the miracle grow. So you just hook it on to your garden hose. I'm gonna have to go turn the water on again. All right, so now the hose is back on. So there's a lock and unlock at the top. And then this nozzle has three different settings. I like the shower setting. And then you simply just pull the trigger and it'll water your garden.